Hello friends, in previous session we have studied some few properties of limb superior and limit inferior of the sequences. In this session we will also continue the other properties of limb super and limb inf. So we will take the first theorem. Let S and B bounded real sequence. Let S and B bounded real sequence. Bounded real sequence means it is real sequence and which is bounded. Then limb sup of S and exist and it is equal to M if and only if. If and only if for given epsilon greater than zero, for given epsilon greater than zero, a part very important result Sn is less than m plus epsilon for all but finitely many Sns, finitely many. Essence means except few terms, Sn is less than m plus epsilon. Okay, and b, Sn is greater than m minus epsilon for infinitely many Sns. Sn is greater than m minus epsilon for infinitely many Sns. So we'll prove one by one. In fact, this is if and if. Proof necessary for so suppose limit n tends to infinity of supremum of S n is equal to m. What is our a part? To show Sn less than m plus epsilon, okay, a. Sn is less than m plus epsilon for all but infinitely many, for all but finitely many Sns, okay, to prove for given epsilon greater than 0, Sn less than m plus epsilon. For all but finitely many essence, many essence on control, suppose the result fail. On control, suppose for some epsilon greater than zero, for some epsilon greater than zero. Sn is not less than m plus epsilon for all but finitely many Sns. Means Sn is greater than. Sn is greater than m plus epsilon. Okay. For some epsilon greater than 0, Sn is greater than equal m plus epsilon for infinitely many Sns. Many Sns. If this statement is false, means SM must be greater than equal m plus epsilon for infinitely many essence. In this case, then even though the n is too large, n is too large as essence are greater than equal to m plus epsilon for infinitely many essence, okay, then Supremum of Sn, Sn plus 1 and so on, this must be greater than equal m plus epsilon for all n, for all n will get this. And therefore, limb sup of Sn, limb sup of Sn, n tends to infinity, this must be greater than equal m plus epsilon 
greater than m. This is contradiction to hypothesis. This is contradiction to hypothesis that is 1. If I denote this by 1, we are getting contradiction. And therefore, our assumption is wrong. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. And therefore, A hold. Therefore, A hold. Now, on same line, we will prove that Sn greater than m minus epsilon for infinite, infinitely, infinite many Sns. Infinitely many Sns. B to prove to prove what we have to show S n greater than m minus epsilon for infinitely many essence many essence. On contrary, suppose for some epsilon greater than 0, on contrary, suppose B fail, then for some epsilon greater than 0, for some epsilon greater than 0, Sn is not greater than m minus epsilon for infinitely many Sns, means what will get? Sn is greater than m minus epsilon for finite eliminations. Okay. Then for some epsilon greater than 0, Sn greater than m minus epsilon for finite eliminations. Finite eliminations. Which implies there exists a naught belongs to natural number such that Sn is less than equal to m minus epsilon. For every n greater equal n naught. For every n greater equal n naught. As Sn is less equal m minus epsilon for every n greater equal n naught, this implies supremum of Sn, Sn plus 1 and so on. This must be less equal m minus epsilon for every n greater equal m naught. And therefore, limit n tends to infinity of supremum of Sn. This is less equal m minus epsilon is less than m. This is contradiction to 1. Contradiction to 1. Or hypothesis. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Okay. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. And therefore, B hold. B must hold. Conversely, suppose now, conversely, so let Sn be bounded sequence such that Sn be bounded sequence satisfying A and B. A and B. What is your claim? Limit n tends to infinity of supremum of Sn is equal to m. So, from A, Sn is less than m plus epsilon for all but finitely many Sns. Okay. From A, 
for given epsilon greater than 0 from for given epsilon greater than 0 from a Sn is less than m plus epsilon for all but finitely many all but finitely many Sns implies there exist a not implies there exist a not positive integer n not such that Sn is less than m plus epsilon for every n greater equal n not for every n greater equal n not Sn is less than m plus epsilon what this implies is therefore supremum of Sn Sn plus 1 and so on is less than m plus epsilon for every n greater equal n naught and therefore limb soup of Sn okay n tends to infinity is less equal to m plus epsilon is less equal to m plus epsilon okay here also supreme this okay so this is now say 2 Again from B, from B for epsilon greater than 0, what is B for Sn greater than M minus epsilon for infinitely many Sns, infinitely many Sns and therefore M minus epsilon is less than supremum of Sn okay for limb sup of Sn okay. supremum of Sn Sn plus 1 and so on okay for every n because for any n you are getting Sn which is greater than m minus epsilon and therefore supremum of this set is always greater than m minus epsilon and therefore m minus epsilon is less than limb sup of Sn less equal the supremum goes on decreasing the supremum goes on decreasing here every Sn is less than m plus epsilon so supremum is at the most m plus epsilon but it cannot exceed that it cannot exceed that so okay from 2 and 3, from 2 and 3. Limb soup of Sn. Oh. Uh, minus M is less than equal to epsilon. Okay. And therefore, limb soup of Sn must be equal to therefore limb soup of Sn is equal to M. Is it clear? Here it is less equal to M plus epsilon. And here again you are saying that m minus epsilon is also less equal that and epsilon is arbitrary since epsilon is arbitrary. Okay. Now on parallel line we will take the result for infimum. Infimum. Okay. So, what is our next theorem? Let S and B boundary real sequence, real sequence. Then, limit for S n, limit for S n is equal to M 
you plan on leave for given epsilon greater than zero c part i'm taking the statement as c sn is greater than m minus epsilon sn greater than m minus epsilon for all what for all what finitely many sns finitely many sns many sns and d sn is uh, less than sorry m minus epsilon sn is less than m plus epsilon for infinitely many sns for infinitely many sns so this is exercise for you this is exercise for you what have i done for limb soup of sn is equal to capital m exist if and only if a and b hold on same line you have to prove this result you have to prove this result now by using this result will prove uh, one of the important result that every bounded sequence has convergent subsequence okay so next theorem so this is the theorem for you exercise Right. Okay. So next theorem. You rebounded sequence has convergent subsequence. So take S N to be bounded sequence of real number. So prove let S n be bounded real sequence. Bounded real sequence. And uh, as it is a bounded real sequence, therefore limb soup of S n must exist. Okay. Therefore, limb soup of S n is equal to M exist. Claim there exist convergence of sequence. There exist convergence of sequence S n k of S n such that limit k tends to infinity of snk is equal to m so there is a convergent subsequence converging to m on same line as it is bounded so limit of sn is equal to small m exists there must exist some subsequence which converges to small m which is nothing but limit of sn limit of sn so this is our aim mm. So from one, from one, for epsilon is equal to one greater than zero. For epsilon is equal to one greater than zero, S n is greater than m minus one for infinitely many S n's. M minus one for infinitely many S n's. By previous theorem. By previous theorem. Okay. So choose list n one. List n one such that S n one is greater than m minus one. Again, 
for epsilon is equal to one half greater than zero. S n greater than m minus half for infinitely many s n s. Infinitely many s n s. Choose n two greater than n one such that s n two is greater than m minus half. And m minus half must be greater than m minus one. Is it clear? Because half is less than one, half is less than one. Therefore, minus half greater than minus one, and therefore m minus half is greater than m minus one. Okay. <laughs> Means your s n one is greater than m minus one. Means S N one satisfies this condition also. S N one satisfies this. No. Continuing thus. Continuing thus. For each uh, epsilon is equal to for each epsilon is equal to one by k greater than zero. Choose n k greater than n k minus one such that. S n k is greater than m minus one by k. For each epsilon is one by k greater than zero. K belongs to n natural number set. Right. So in this way, we'll select this one. Right. Now, this is a one. Now, this is a from one s n greater than for absolute power n greater than zero. Now, one from one and b part of theorem, b of theorem. Okay. Now, by a part. A part of previous theorem, previous theorem, your S n is less than previous theorem for given epsilon greater than zero. S n is less than m plus epsilon for all but for All but finitely many essence. For all but finitely many essence. Implies is there exist positive integer n not such that s n is less than m plus epsilon. For every n greater equal n not, this is now two. Hmm. For given epsilon greater than, or given epsilon greater than zero, choose positive integer k such that one by k is less than epsilon. One by k less than epsilon, then one by k is less equal. One by k less than epsilon for every k greater equal k. For every k greater equal k. In this case, in this case. In this case, <coughs> m minus epsilon is less than m minus one by k is less than s n k and s n k is less than m plus epsilon for every n k greater equal n k greater equal 
que is it right for epsilon greater than 0 okay. there exists positive integer k greater equal n naught i will take this okay k greater equal n naught then mod of snk minus m is less than epsilon for every nk greater equal k and therefore limit k tends to infinity of snk is equal to m so what we proved here if given sequence sn is bounded then limb soup of sn exists then by previous theorem we have constructed the subsequence snk which converges to that limb soup of sn on parallel line limb in of sn also exists then by c and d part of previous theorem which is stated in exercise with help of that you can construct the subsequence which converges to limb in of sn so thus every bounded sequence has subsequences one which converges to limb soup of sn and one which converges to limb in of sn very useful result it is useful to construct the convergence subsequences for any bounded sequence any bounded sequence so with the discussion we will stop here thanks for listening lecture with patience bye bye